Welcome fellow men and women of culture to this age game review. This time around we are going to talk about a game called Antithesis, which is not only a game that I really want to talk about, with a perfect opportunity to talk about this game right now, but it's also a game that, while not having a lot of gameplay, has a lot of content and is very customizable in a way that I can safely recommend this game to everyone, which is not often. The story of Antithesis follows a girl called Natsu Hansaku, who is a very ordinary girl, aside from the fact that she has been cursed by a devil because she was at the wrong place, to the wrong time, and just so happened to pick up a glass containing this devil. Now she's under constant threat. She is forced to collect the gravity coin for this devil so she can free him from this glass. And this can only be done by doing increasingly more depraved acts or collecting those coins from power spots. Whether she wants to or not, she becomes embroiled in sexual situations and can develop a more sex-based personality if you so desire, with multiple paths to go down. The game is described by the score page as an investigation without battle, but with a limited number of plays to act. You have to seek out sexual events, or you don't, by collecting power spots, as mentioned before. You can go to work to earn money, eat snacks, to regain some of your energy, to have a longer day and do more during the day, or collect mysterious medals which you can trade in for some very useful items that will make the game a lot easier or more difficult. You can do whatever you want until time expires. And depending on certain in-game values, the ending will change. There are, and I have counted, 12 endings, 3 of which are for individuals you can interact with during your playthrough, 4 bad ends, and 5 normal ends. Gameplay-wise, it's an RPG Maker game, so really there's nothing out of the ordinary. You move throughout the city and collect these depravity points, which you can then use to break seals in that bottle or flask, whatever you want to call it, in which the devil is contained. You can also steer your main character down a certain path of gravity, or you can take down all paths of gravity that are coded into the game, really, it's your choice. You can go later into mixed paths if you want, or you can work in a sort of brothel. It's Compensated dating is also a thing. It's very down to earth actually in that sense and rather interesting. And during all of this you have a timer. Or rather you have energy that if it's depleted you have to fill up by continuing to the next day which resets your energy but progresses time. And as you have heard during the story part of this review, you have only a limited number of days to complete this game. I think it's a month to be exact. The game has also a fame and infamy system. Infamy is if it reaches a certain value a game over, but it also allows you to access certain events if it reaches a high enough value. Something similar is for the fame. The fame allows you to also access certain events that were previously not accessible. And both of these can be increased by doing social media. Although infamy can also be increased by doing the private acts in the public. If you really want to, you could even beat this game by the first week of in-game time. But you would miss out most of the game and it would take you a lot of time. So I don't think why you would do that. That specifically to be honest. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But you can do this by just getting molested, which doesn't take any weirdly enough. And by getting molested, you can then grind the private point. And thus, you can then free this devil a lot sooner than you usually could. But as I said, it would take you a lot of time because get, being molested only gives you like two points or so at the very beginning. After you have beaten the game, you unlock a gallery which contains every, and I mean every 
scene that is possibly imaginable in this game. Really, it's very interesting. You can see every ending, all the scenes you haven't seen or didn't even know were in this game, are all in a gallery and very much uh, organized even by content and with wish character. It's very very nice and I like seeing stuff like that in my age games although I rather play this game for second run or third even but I'll get to this later well then let's talk about the character well of course we have that's the Hanzaki who really is a blank slate at first she has tendencies to be a bit more sexual but she's very repressed and represses them herself you then can steer her in the direction you want her to take, you can make her a master, you can make her a sage, an acquisition. Really, it's all yours. You have the complete power to shape this girl's personality to your liking, to your preferred fetish if you want. Then there is also obviously the devil whose name is Vice. What a what a weird name, right? He's a very okay guy actually. Really, he's not actively threatening you. Aside from what the game would make you believe. But then again, it's more blackmail since if you don't help him get out, he kind of just takes over. Or if time runs out, he takes over. It's really. Yeah, while he's not threatening you, he's not helping you either. He's certainly an antagonistic force. Besides him, there's also another devil who's called Clam, who's a rat or takes the form of a rat. With him, you can trade the metal or money so you can replenish energy or get uh, your nice items you know there is a lot of options there then aside from them there are three characters that i have more well, more than three but there are a few characters i have to talk about the first is your pe teacher who is called onda and he's the scum of the world really he's the worst of the worst blackmailing there's nothing redeeming about him but i have to say he is very confident in his way. Then there's also a fat kid called Hikawa, who is unlike the teacher, not very confident in his way, but also is blackmailing you by threatening to jump from a very high building. Or as high as the school building in Japan is, I suppose. Probably second floor. But it's the intent that counts, I, I suppose. Then we have a guy named Toshio, who is, I have written him down as the playboy, and I mean, it's not wrong, but there is not much to him. Uh, you guys have probably read Emergence, or Metamorphosis, or whatever it's called. The game, uh, the, the game, the hentai with the girl who, had, who wore glasses and then got rid of them and suddenly her life went terrible, you know? He's that kind of guy who, who gave her the cocaine, you know? That's basically him. Then we have the best friend Lisa, who is your gateway to getting to know this guy. Then there's also the sort of antagonistic driving force behind all of this. Uh, an exorcist called Fuyumi, who I find hilarious, is a gacha addict. And honestly, she is kind of fun, but she's tasked with hunting down Vice, so you kind of have to hinder her progress a bit. It's funny, I like it a lot. At some point, she actually makes progress, and there's a threat to you, you have also to take care of. So, I want to talk a bit about the art style, because I personally think this art style is beautiful. The last game I have reviewed was. Shinobu Kun is the only boy at the, uh, the only girl at the boys school island. And the art style there was okay. It was not terrible. It was passable. It did the job. I like this art style a lot more. It's very similar, but it feels it, it looks like it has a higher quality, at least for me. I know art is subjective, but it just seems that way. And with the art out of the way, obviously I have to talk about sex scenes now which range from vanilla to fucking gangbang and pet play. There is some public use as well, you know, like 
I, I will pop some six digits in this uh, screen and maybe you you can look at this and get the gist of what I mean if you don't <laughs> know what I mean. But really there is, there is quite a range of themes. And as you can guess, they become more and more depraved as time goes on and as more you invest your coins, your depraved coins, in getting these things and developing the personality of these guys. It's just how the world goes, I think. And while I'm at it, the music. I'll be honest with you guys. The music, it's stock music again. I don't expect anything else from an RPG maker. Although I like the music, they, the, the tracks they have picked, they are very relaxing. Similar to Honey Pop's relaxing music, but just less original, I suppose. But I have to be fair here. It seems like there are two original tracks that... I have never heard before in another RPG Maker game. They are also titled in Japanese kanji and I can't read those. So I guess there is an original track. At least they are not named PW19, whatever that's supposed to mean. It sounds like a clone trooper designation actually, but those two tracks with the Japanese name are the, uh, the only original track in there, but they still sound generic. Well, here's the conclusion. I like this game. A lot. It has not much to do in terms of gameplay, but I like to try different routes every so often. And the fact that you can decide how the poor girl develops personality-wise, as well as what content you want to act with, makes it a rather safe game to recommend. Does it contain the non-consent? Well, yes it does. But if you stay clear of the obvious triggers, which for example would be going to the dark alleyway on your own in the bad part of town during the night, then you won't see it. If getting caught by a gang member on the turf is considered not obvious, then I don't know what it, what it is and even then you're most of the time getting an opt-out to kind of get away from it if you're not really forcing your way into it so you will be just fine if this is something you would like to play yourself i would recommend you go to this you go and visit the yell site since they are not only selling this game in english or chinese if you're not an English speaker or the Chinese one, which at, in that case, I have no idea how you watch this video and understand the thing I'm saying. But you can also buy the Japanese version. And aside from that, they have a sale going on, which ends on February the 13th. Let's hope this video gets out before that. And in case that's not the case, and I don't know, the video came up February 14th, I'm sorry, but I hope you can forgive me. Maybe subscribe to this channel, and if you'd like, I would like to see you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful wank with this beautiful game.